Okay, so uh, Courtney, you had some uh, <laughs> nice weather questions. I love it when uh, when you or anyone else asks weather questions. Yes, well, I was salty, so this is why I asked it. So <laughs> I was trying to have my afternoon nap, per usual, and I kept hearing thunder. It was pretty constant, but I opened my eyes. Uh -huh. It is light as day. There's not a raindrop in the sky. So, of course, when I have a meteorologist question, uh -huh. I ask Grant. So I tweeted him. And I asked him, okay, so have you explained why there is thunder but no visible lightning or rain? And he said that he hadn't. So today is the day that I'm going to get this explainer so I won't be a bitter Betty anymore. Mother Nature just likes playing cruel jokes on you. Oh, uh, well, that, that's what that it was is. cruel. Sleep? It, it is cruel. It is mm. cruel. Welcome to the Weather Lab, guys. Let's talk about this. So the first thing we need to explain is there will always be thunder with lightning. Lightning will always sense. create Thunder. It's just a question of whether or not you see the lightning or yeah. or you hear the thunder. More on that in just a second. So what I think was was going on with this situation here, keeping Courtney from her her nap, beauty rest, her beauty rest, <laughs> right? Uh, cloud to cloud lightning. It can happen. Typically, we only think that cloud to ground lightning happens where we see that flash on the ground. But in this case, I think what was going on is you were you know looking up, looking out your window, right. and you see sunshine, but you just may not be able to see that lightning bolt. Maybe it's muffled within the cloud cover or maybe it's just in an opposite direction from where you're looking or your vantage point. Mm. And here's why this is especially true. The sound of thunder can travel up to 12 miles away from the storm. Isn't that crazy? 12 miles. That's a long way That's why away. I was suffering. So you, we, we talked about this last hour. Uh, heat lightning. Heat lightning. Heat lightning. Maybe you've heard about this at home as well or you've even think that you've seen it. Here's what's going on with heat lightning. When you're so far away from a storm, especially at night when you see the flashing of the clouds, you know, you typically in the summertime you see this. Right. You look off in the distance, you see that cool. flashing of the clouds. All you're seeing is the tops of the clouds, but you're so far away. You could be up to 60, 70 miles away from the storm. The thunder is just not able to make it to you, but you can still see the lightning. The more you know. I'm yes. still going to be better though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I love it. <laughs> the Weather Lab. So if you at home want to be a member of that Weather Lab, you have a question for Professor Gilmore, just send us a tweet. We'll get those questions answered.